cars can be seen as a work of art on wheels. And Nashville's Lane Motor Museum is home to the largest, get this, European collection in the United States. That's a big deal. It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and by the way, what you may not know is that the founder, Jeff Lane, his passion started for cars when he was just 12 years old. Cool. And that passion means you're going to experience the must-see fascinating car exhibits anytime you visit the museum. We've got to see it. Sylvia Castaneda, well, she checked it out. Two new special exhibits for us. Check it out. Wow, check this out. Is this not the cutest, tiniest car ever? I'm so excited to be here at Lane Motor Museum with Rex Bennett, who's the education director, and he's here to tell us about a wonderful new exhibit that's just opened recently, and it has a very cool name. Tell our viewers what it is. Well, Sylvia, this is our OK exhibit. K is short for Keisha Dosha. These are our Japanese small car exhibit we have here this year at Lane Motor Museum. If your car is small enough in a crowded city like Tokyo, you can park it on the street. It's also taxed and insured differently. So the smaller the car, the cheaper it is to run, the more cars they sell. So Rex, tell us what's the smallest car in the exhibit? So the smallest car in the exhibit is actually our Subaru 360. It's actually where Subaru got its start here in America. It is a very small car. It's even smaller than an old Volkswagen Beetle, if you use that for a reference. So if you know how small an old Beetle is, this is even tinier. Rex, I also love this sporty number. So what is it? So this is our 1993 AutoZam AZ1. This is a car that was made in conjunction with Mazda, only for the Japanese market, never sold here in the United States. And Sylvia has a great party trick. Can I show it? Oh yeah, let's see it. Oh my gosh, it's like a DeLorean. That's Little right. Wings. <laughs> so this got these great gold wing doors, which help to get in and out of such a small car. That is so cool. Now, can I touch it? Can I get in? No, actually you can't. So we tell folks to look with their eyes, not with their hands. Okay, I get it, I get it. So there's also another very cool exhibit going on right now. Can I go check that out next? Absolutely, let me grab our curator, Derek. Great. I can't believe that the Lane Motor Museum has turned 20, and I'm so excited to have Derek Moore, the curator of collections, to tell us about this brand new exhibit celebrating the museum. First, let's start with this vehicle. It's gorgeous. Yes, it is absolutely beautiful, but it's actually probably one of the most important vehicles in the collection because this was actually Jeff Lane's very first car. This is the car he restored with his dad. Uh, it was a Christmas gift to him when he was just 12 years old. It is the car that essentially launched all of this. Wow, what is it? It really is gorgeous. So this is a 1955 MGTF. It's a, a really one of the very first British sports cars. Beautiful. And what else can people learn from this exhibit? This is really awesome. So they're going to learn all about the history of not only the museum and how we developed, but also the building that we're in, which was the Sunbeam Bread Bakery. So you're going to learn a little bit about converting it over to the museum, uh, some of the vehicles the museum has brought in over time, as well as stories about vehicles that we've restored so that they could be saved for history. Now, I also know Jeff has a lot more vehicles than what we're seeing here, so where is everything? Yes, so we have about room for about 150 cars on the main gallery floor, but we kind of keep everything else in storage downstairs, and we call it the vault. Ooh, the vault. Can we go down? Can I touch and maybe get into some of those cars? I mean, no one's going to see me. Yeah, well, we can go down there. I can show you around, but we don't let folks get in the cars or touch them. It's part of that whole museum preservation. Thing. I get it. Well, let's go down. All right. Look at this orange Citron. It reminds me of an Imperial Topaz with that beautiful orange color. And the Alpine, it's sapphire blue, oh my gosh. And then this BMW, it's platinum. It's like a piece of jewelry. All these cars are that way. So talk to us, can folks actually come visit the vehicles in the vault? They actually can, but only on weekends. And you can learn all about that on our website at lanemotormuseum.org. Folks, I can't do any of these vehicles justice. It really is like being in a vault full of jewels on four wheels. So come check it out yourselves. And in the meantime, Derek, can I just go touch this? Sit yeah, in it. No, 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 no. Oh, back to you. <laughs> so cool. I want to ride in that orange Citron. That, that looks, looks so cool. Real nice. Yeah. So get your calendar out and start planning visits to the Lane Motor Museum as their summer demo series starts on Saturday, April 29th, where you can check out a 1967. 
how do I say that? Is I don't it, even know. I, I, it's Euro, like, Euro X maybe? Euro X. Gyro, Euro? Kind of well, like, we you like know, to eat those like, too. You, you know, yeah, this is true. <laughs> and by the way, Lane will have a special Father's Day event this June. Uh, it's Museum Fun Day in both July and August as well. Plus, there's going to be autumn micro rides in September. So lots going on. So awesome. To check out the museum's calendar of events, visit lanemotormuseum.org.